she kisses him, he remembers. It's as if his past lives come flooding back to him, much like when we remember who we are by knowing all is love. Hi everyone. I've got a little something different for you today for Vlogmas. I did a breakdown of the New Zealand baby battle because the video of the police taking the baby from the parents in the hospital is making people lose their minds. And I need to say it's a staged event. So I spent my day doing that. Um, unfortunately, I ran out of time. Um, I didn't do a decode, just a breakdown, but it is an interesting case nonetheless. And it also copies the format of previous staged events of police taking people away back in 2020 that I covered. So I made a brief comparison to those events as well. And while you're over there, if you have not seen my other decode videos, please take a moment to watch them because there's some really interesting codes being revealed as of late. The most interesting is the pattern revealed on these events that started happening on the 8th of each month since August 8th with Olivia Newton-John's death. Oddly enough, this video of the baby taking was released last night, which would make it December 8th. But since I haven't done a decode, I don't yet know if it's connected. Maybe you can spot some connections if you've seen my other videos. This weekend, my sister's coming for Christmas. So I don't know if I'm going to have time to do a proper video for Vlogmas. I'll have to see what I can do to get something out. But I was hoping to get out ahead of this weekend with some pre-recorded videos. But each video was taking at least four hours to make. And I have no idea where the time goes. So it might have to be something light until Monday. The link to the video is in the description box. I will talk to you tomorrow. Have a great night. And here's a teaser. Bye for now. The story behind this is this couple lost custody, temporary custody of their child through a court case with the hospital because they have a baby who needs an operation and they want the baby to get unvaccinated blood. So they took the hospital to court over the right to have say over having unvaccinated blood and they allegedly lost the case. So the hospital has temporary custody over their baby to perform this procedure against the parents' wishes using vaccinated blood. So this is the story. And now they're documenting their journey a la cell phone for all to see. Procedure that's scheduled and that can't be changed. Well, it can be changed. I, I think, like, so baby needs as much rest as possible so that he can... Excuse me, what are you doing? Yeah. Oh, don't, don't do that, boys. All right, there's just a few things to point out here. First of all, why are they filming? They're not really saying very much. They just started filming for what reason? Well, the reason they started filming is because they knew that the cops were going to come in to take their baby, and they wanted to catch it on video. Hey, don't do it. Hey, stop. Please don't do it. Hey. Now we're talking about the surgery. You guys are criminals. You are criminals. You are conducting a criminal act here. So the news story goes that the baby needed to have a pre-op examination. They came in without telling the parents what was going on. And so the parents are outraged and they think that their kid's being kidnapped, which is ridiculous. I mean, a normal reaction would be to ask what's going on. But there's no way that any hospital would ever do anything like this, no matter what the situation. You would always inform the parents. Always. This reaction is over the top. So with the pre-op tips, it needs to happen before the surgery. Hey, it won't happen tomorrow. we've been talking to you like rational people and now you're just removed. You, you've done it. Another thing, these two cops are explaining to the parents why they're taking the baby away, but they were just sitting down with the parents calmly talking about I don't know what they could have told the parents then so why is this a shock allegedly the court just decided that they needed to take the baby so they came and took the baby within a matter of minutes I don't believe that they had every opportunity to tell the parents what was going on before they took the baby you are criminal you okay <gasps> this is really <sighs> kind of lame acting. A parent who sees that their baby is going to be taken away would not react this way. A woman whose child is being threatened, you cannot stop her. She would plow past these cops and grab her baby. <laughs> everyone involved in everyone in this room is upset about the situation. I don't want to be here. <laughs> everybody 
everybody in this room is upset. I don't want to be here. Oh my god, cop. Seriously? I can't believe you just said that. Read the room, guy. Read the room. You're in a room with upset parents whose baby's been taken from them. And you're making it about you. I don't want to be here. Hey, well, everyone, you know, I don't know uh, where this goes to around the world. Okay, this is priceless. He turns around and talks to the camera. So, I can, I can understand why. But what does he expect humanity to do? on his behalf. So if he has no ability to do anything for his child, then what's all the fuss about? What's the stink about? You know this was gonna happen. Their argument is that they do have unvaccinated blood, but they mix it in with the vaccinated blood. Okay, but don't they identify whether it's been vaccinated or not? I mean, surely you keep a record of this sort of thing, otherwise, how would you know? How would you know that this baby's received vaccinated blood? They're talking out of both sides of their mouths again. So if they have both and the parents say, I want unvaccinated blood for my baby, then why not just give it to them? What is the big deal? What is the issue here? Well, the issue is that they need to make a big drama out of it to stir up the passions of the people to get them all up in arms fighting over it because it's all a big show.